Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert your Counter-Strike Source demos into an AVI video file. So, first, open Counter-Strike Source. And you'll need some programs for this. You'll need Virtual Dub, and I would recommend a movie config, and I'll put a movie config in the um, description for you guys so you can run that and it'll look more professional. Alright, so when you're loaded, um, I'm just going to create a server and record a quick demo, so I can just use that as an example, so I guess I'll be showing you guys how to record demos too, which you probably already know, but if you don't, this will be some help, I guess. So I'll just put terrorist. Alright, I have a low frame rate because I'm recording from my desktop, so... Alright, so I'm going to type in record, I'll just name it Pro Plays. Then I'll start recording. I guess I'll just want to. Then to stop the demo, I'll type in stop. And then that completes the demo, and you can watch it back. So after that, I'm going to disconnect, and then. I'm going to run my movie config, so I'm going to type in exec movie, and didn't really. Oh, it's yeah, it came up. So these are like the controls for it. Then you can just press F8 or type in demo UI to open this little box here. F8's easier, so I do that. Then click load. Get the demo you want to record. Open it up, obviously. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to go back to the starting. Alright, so now that you're here, you want to record with um, the source. I'm just going to call it the source recorder because it's the source recorder. So you're going to type in start. Wait, no, first you want to get your frame rate. Um, I usually do 120 frames per second, but since. I'm like doing a tutorial, I wanted to make it quick, so I'm just gonna do it um, 30. So, post underscore frame rate 30. And I recommend 120, but I don't want it to take too long for you guys. So then, after you type in that, type in start movie. Then, the name of the movie, I'll just for place. Then, press enter, and the movie will start once you get back to the like demo screen. So then I'll do that, then you just want to get here, resume it, then close that. And it's going to like be slower usually if you're recording a nice frame rate, because it has to like take a picture of every frame, and you'll see why in virtual dub. Alright, so now it's over. And you want to type end movie whenever you want to stop it. Alright, now to the part where we convert that to a video. So... You guys will have virtual dub and you're gonna want to open it. Then go to file. Then open video file. And I already have mine set to my C strike folder, so I'm all set for that. But then I already have a bunch of recorded demos in here, so that's why there's all these files. Alright, pro plays. You wanna go to the demo name and then go to the one that is four zeros and that is the first frame of your demo which is right here then open that and I'll bring all the frames after that of the pro plays demo in and a pretty good frame rate too oh well, if you have a high frame rate it's gonna be a pretty good frame rate obviously alright then after that you want to set it so it runs um, each frame for like the right amount of time so it's not too fast not too slow so I did in this case I did 30 frames per second when I was recording so I'll type in 30 here and if you guys didn't catch where I went I went to alright so it is done rendering I already closed virtual dub and here's the video it's the right frame rate and everything uh, yeah it's pretty laggy I don't know why but once you put it into your like editing software it won't be laggy like this so thanks for watching, I really hope this helped and 
If it did help, please subscribe because that will help me get more views on my videos, obviously. So, thanks for watching.